Dude. I'm so glad it's I moved on my, my arm. <laughs> I'm so glad I moved my arm when it's I did. Hot water, dude. Uh, uh, don't. You keep it to yourself. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? Hey guys, it's Kyle and Shannon. Welcome back to KNS Get Out. We got a lot of rain yesterday. So, I didn't get to make any more progress on the building. However, you guys saw it in its wet state. Now you're going to see it in its dry, wet state. Because it got rained. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> the animals actually don't know we're out here yet. So we're going to sneak a little peek on our way down. And I'm certain Spruce is going to start screaming at us. Oh, absolutely. So if you stuck around to the very end of the last video, you did see that Kyle got more of the shed done as far as spraying it. Uh-oh, they see us. Everybody sees us. So the first time... I didn't really tape anything off. We just held cardboard and went around and did that. So what we're calling that is the intentional rustic look. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of you guys use the word rustic to uh, describe this and that's what we're going to go with. So I thought, well, you know, I'll do much better on the backside because I'll tape it off. I'll stand back a little bit and shoot it a little more evenly. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. I think it still needs a second coat, but <laughs> it does. It still looks pretty good. Yeah, like so this. you got blue tape there, 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 painter's tape, so I didn't have to worry about, you know, overspray. But I still got to go get some of that plastic stuff, the uh, lighter plastic, because I was trying to use the Lowe's house wrap. Yeah. That's not what it's for. <laughs> blue painter tape does not hold it up. You can fight it, you can play with it. It's still not going to work. That makes sense. Uh oh. Sense. Somebody just told Sprucers. Everybody knows we're out here. Okay, well, we better go see them get them fed i got pants on because it's muddy in there and they're gonna cover they're gonna us be today. all over us yeah that's all right totally worth it right of course my <laughs> goodness <laughs> we were just watching chad's videos with bruce hercules we were just in his premiere last night and mr bruce was talking now bruce has his mario parts if you know what i'm saying little guy you don't, but are you going to be as loud and as big as that guy, do you think? Hercules. <laughs> These are the best of buds right here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's stay in here. Thanks for keeping everybody safe last night, guard dog. You did a great job. We spied on you guys cuddling and you doing your rounds. And then guard goat always has your back whenever you're sleeping. Oh, buddy, buddy. Dirt spot. First thing in the pen. Come on, bud, run your laps. Yeah, run your laps. Don't chase blue. Oh, well, you know, a little hyper. I know it, I know it. You just gotta show them a little extra attention in the morning when everybody's hungry and screaming at us. What'd you say, mama? <laughs> What'd you say? We're expecting a delivery today, so Shannon had to run down and open the gate. And Mama's very curious of it. Herc still runs off. <laughs> Blue. What'd you say? Mop. <laughs> Goodness. You know, Larry and Harry, it took them a little bit longer to be able to jump up there like that. You guys just got the Mario moves, don't you? What? You're hungry? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's mama. She's just coming up the driveway. It's okay. <laughs> you silly girl. She has been watching you. <laughs> You've never been so vocal. Goodness lady. <laughs> Pretty girl. Are you just protecting your babies? No. Or are you just starving? No. You're just real hungry. So as you can tell, we are uh, succeeding with our attempts at getting closer with these guys. Ah, oh, boys. Boy, I tell you what. These are some <laughs> dominant goats, still. They're doing better, Larry and Harry. Mama's got a lot to say this morning. Larry and Harry uh, just kind of keep their distance from those two because those two are, are well, they're, they're dominant. That's all they're saying. Are you starving or what, lady? Hi, Mama. Are you ready to eat? We got to dry out some feeders. I'm telling everybody about how you're ready to eat. Yeah! <laughs> Hi, boys. <laughs> 
You're not putting that much effort into it. Hey, we're not clothes eaters here on this farm. Oh, they were just eating my shirt. <laughs> yeah, we gotta teach them that we're not clothes oh, eaters. Ours. Not Bubba. Not big guy. Larry, how are you this morning, mister? <laughs> yeah. Oh, does her answer that? These guys, seriously, dude. I said no horns on me. Hooks on me. Yeah, I already. Leave. I got a Herc shot to the pocket here too. <laughs> I see that. Um. Hey, hey, hey. Mom, 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 mom. Who cares about the Mario Brothers? You got Spruce back here. Here comes Herc. Watch out. Did you focus on their horns? How big their horns are getting uh -oh. already? Uh oh. All right. I'll pay attention to you. <laughs> Lil Mario, you know he's gonna push you down. Hey, that's Mama. You don't hit Mama. How big are these horns? <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at those horns coming, coming in. in quick. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> you just have what to about my horns? Let's look. Chin. Let's look at my horns, Mom. Look Can at my leave? horns. Oh my good. Don't touch them, Dad. Don't touch them. I'll kill you. You guys are so funny. Okay, do we need to get some food and get everybody calmed down? Mom. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> stepped away just coming. in time. I saw that coming. Well, hey, Harry. You hear the boy noises? Yep, from Koopa. <laughs> Hi. Herc just wants all the attention. Yeah, he reach out to pet anybody. He's like, no, 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 no. Here I am. Hi, Larry. Hi, Harry. Hi, buddy. Okay. <laughs> okay, we need to grab those paper towels so we can wipe out feeders. Fortunately, Shannon came down. We saw the rain coming. I got some stuff in the shed. I'll show you in a little bit. Super excited about that. And then we got everything else inside the shelters, like the hay. Uh, but we don't always move their feeders because there's, what, six, seven of them? So we just got to dry those off before we get going. We have the best crew of goats. Little loud, little whiny, little attention hungry, little spoiled. But we are so blessed with this crew. Everybody's got their personalities. Yeah, even me, even me. I'm a big Ouija. That's my big Ouija Ouija. How are you this morning, buddy? Hmm. You can get scratched between the horns, yeah. Gosh, you're thick. I'm getting ready for winter, Dad. You know, it's crazy to believe that the cold weather is just that close and you know, a lot of times we didn't have to think about it before. A couple years back, before we were doing all this, you just moved into the cold season and all you noticed was, oh man, it's dark and it's just now five o'clock, getting ready to go home. Well, out here, it literally changes your day. When you start it, when you finish it, when they get fed again, the birds are already on that schedule. So it's just weird. Like we actually talked yesterday about closing in the tops of our shelters because I left them open for airflow through the hot season but we're gonna put it up pretty high on the project list to uh, get those enclosed so that come winter time, it helps block that cold wind. Can you believe we're already thinking about it? We're getting down in the 50s at night, 50s. It's easy to focus on that high temperature during the day, huh? Still got some 90 degree days, but we gotta be thinking about what it's gonna get down to. I bet we got about an inch of rain. Really? Yeah. You look at this feeder especially. That's awesome. I put the brush cutter on the tractor yesterday and was kind of working on our field up there a bit. And just because it looked like rain, it hadn't started raining yet, dust everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully this will help a little bit. Calm it all down a little bit. <laughs> I have the best helpers I, I can possibly have for doing like, this. Mom, you're supposed to be dropping food in there, not paper towels. Even Lair Bear. Hi, Larry. Thank you for helping. My sweet Harry, how are you, buddy? How are you, big guy? And there's Herc. I can love on him, Hercules. Are you eat my pants? Spruce! Are you helping? Hey. Yeah, for the I most part. That you're helping me that much. I'm helping, too. Mom. I'm telling you, food. Food. You are ridiculous. Look, my belly is shrinking as you're petting me. Oh, oh my, my gosh. I'm you starving. So I haven't eaten in a uh, minute. Yeah. <laughs> we you saw you in the hay feeder, buddy. 
He gonna be a big boy, man. I tell you what. All right. Watching Bruce over in Chad's videos. Golly. All right. Get him. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, buddy. He's so heavy. I'm gonna have bruises on my leg from standing on me. Uh oh. Okay. Are we dry? I think we're dry. Let's get you some food, Mama. That's what you've been talking about. Is it time for some food? <laughs> yeah. Now here's the cool thing. When she gets into those containers, she goes into that nursery so she can eat. And we will typically hand deliver the boys to her if they don't follow. <laughs> Come on, Koopa. That a boy. Lamario, you want to join your family? Come on, bud. I said little Mario. <laughs> that sounds like Larry. Larry Mario? Yeah, it's me. All right, guys, stay back. Go on in, buddy. No, Coop, stay in. Go, little Mario, go. That a boy. There we go. How is it that the littlest ones in here are the most okay, trained? Are you ready? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. These little guys are starting to kind of eat some of that grain and hay. Of course, they still nurse, more so than she's letting those boys nurse, which is good because they're getting a little bit old to be nursing, aren't they, Blue? Yeah, you're doing a good job of kicking them off. Your food's coming, okay? You'll go in the other nursery. Oh, Herc and his holes. That one seems to be making it further and further under that gate. I'm gonna have to do something about that. It's coming, guys. I can hear it. I can hear it. Yeah. You guys are the best sprucers. You're gonna get yours too. Tell him, Larry Bear. Tell him, buddy. Tell him, Big Larry. Okay. Spruce has been telling me a story the whole time he was waiting. Hey, buddy. You ready to eat? Who do you want, Blue's Crew? Yep. Blue's Crew. There you are. That a girl. Come on. Come on. Are we all three in here? You're doing so great. What happened? Chris tried to jump up on the spool and he slid. You can see his slide marks here. He just totally biffed it coming off there. Hungry! It was too wet for him to stop. Feed me! Speaking of which, thanks for being patient. Got some minerals in there this morning. Here you go, Blue. I know those boys like to eat all your food, so we'll fill you up a little bit. I went and saw dad a couple days ago, Grandpa Doss Farms, and he was kind of, we were just talking about how much we feed the goats and everything, because you guys know we've been trying to bring their grain intake down and increase their graze time or browse time. And then of course, hay, they all love their hay. So dad's taking a different approach than we are, and technically he's feeding less grain than we are, I think like half. So we got to figure that out. As you noticed, you get the whininess when you come down here, they want their grain. That's just what they're accustomed to. Such a good boy. But we want them to be as healthy as possible and we want them to help maintain the land. Uh, they don't do it. <laughs> they, they do. It just doesn't make a difference. I still got to mow. I got to brush. I got to do what I got to do, which is totally fine. But long term goals, man, if we can get a perimeter fence on this thing, leave these guys out. They get along with the birds. They just mosey around. I just can't have them leaving the property and i would worry about that if i weren't watching them full time how's it going in here pretty good they're all they're each staying in their bowls not running each other off how's spruce speed eating is he doing all right He's doing or? a little bit better well i have to now that i gotta eat in here with other people it's stupid i know and they actually they did some work on their hay last night yes they did that. goodness gracious i know i gotta get your food too well when it rains they're all in here and we swept this after the evening feeding last night, perfectly clean, and the factory was in full swing. I got you some goat poop. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. I need to go get this guy some food and some pumpkin. Yeah. He says, I'll take some love first though. Here, anyway. I will go get his food. You stay with him, okay? Okay. 
He says, I'm watching you. Hey, uh-uh. You stay on your side. I know you thought I wasn't in here anymore. Spruce has just a little bit more food than Luigi, so he always gets down to the end and wants to go steal the rest of Spruce's. Ornery little thing. Oh, look behind you, Herc. This guy's trying to sneak in on your food, Hercules. So weird. He's like, hey, Dad, I don't really care. Could you just drop my food, please? There you go, buddy. He's taking you to his pumpkin. Mom, I know you keeps it up here. Yes, Bruce, go take the rest of his. This is so weird. We've noticed that Larry and Harry will still try to go over to Blue and nurse a little bit. And she's just pretty much done with it. She does not want to nurse anymore. She's like, no boys, you're eating hay and you're eating grain. So you don't need my milk anymore. She's a what? She's our speed wiener. <laughs> she wants them off about a month and a half ago. Yeah. If only you can make money with this stuff. Hey, for those of you guys starving for goat poop, we feel for you. And we know you need goat poop in your life. And if you'll send us your address, I'll send you as much goat poop <laughs> as you want. Because I know you feel like you're missing out because we have all the goat poop. I mean... Nasty. That's not a big pile or anything. No. And that's not just from one night or anything. We don't do this every single day, twice a day. <laughs> coffee bean factory. Coffee bean factory. You know, I tried this coffee though. Hooey! It's potent. You. Yeah. You were just in there eating hay, weren't you? Look at you, pretty. Pretty, pretty girl. They're coming. There they are. Hi, boys. Hi, boys. I have to say, the hay stayed nice and dry in the shelter. That's great. Yeah. Look, they're in there. Oh, yeah. Look at this lady. I'm so proud of you, Blue. <laughs> you guys mentioned we were talking in our premiere. If you were in our last premiere, you mentioned the long fur on her. See her little pretty mohawk is that long fur. And of course, she's got some down here on her hindquarters. This guy is going to be the same way. I'm certain of it. Because he got a little white afro thing. Stinking handsome. But we notice when he gets a little wet, he gets his little curls in the back of his fur, which makes me think they're going to keep growing a little bit longer. He may have the lay down mohawk style as well. He's a handsome boy. And then of course this little guy. Are you going to have some long fur too, Harry? He's so sweet. I know. He's got to be one of our most gentle. He acts like he's not gentle. He'll stand up at you, but he's not going to ram you. He's just the sweetest boy. Sweeter than Spruce even? Yeah, I don't know that I can necessarily call Spruce sweet anymore. <laughs> no, I think he's gone to rotten. I think he's spoiled. Yeah. So yeah, spoiled goes to rotten. Yeah, that, that's fitting. Here you go, buddy. He's... There's just such a difference in their thickness, you know? Oh, yeah. Especially their necks. Their necks, and Larry's head is a lot bigger than Harry's head. It's just his afro, Mom. <laughs> no, his little jaw. His little jaw right here. It's probably got you by a good inch, inch and a half. But you're still cute. It's crazy when you band them how quickly and drastically their attitudes change. Big time. This guy was standing up to everybody. I mean, he would even square off with Hercules sometimes and you get nervous, you're like, oh, don't do that one. But two days in, the, the pain, they've numbed, they, they don't feel it anymore. And I think that the 
testosterone production has also stopped and so they just calm down yep. drastically and they could not be more ready for Lil Mario and Coop because <laughs> those guys are rambunctious they are Mario's boys these two are so sweet well I really really wanted a break you know blue has been such an effort for us to love on her and for her to be calm around us and it's still it's a major work in progress herc still doesn't trust her runs her down to the log and everything but i, I was hopeful that we could break these guys of that before they got old enough to kind of take on her ways yeah i think, I think we've done it i think we've succeeded considering if you hold still though come over to you <laughs> kind of play hard to get but not even as much as the others What's up, Mr. Weege Man? <laughs> Just want to be loved on, don't you? He says, you know, I have the biggest horns now that Mario's gone. He just loves scratches. Well, can we see your face? Uh, yeah, probably not. But your face is so cute. Everybody wants to see your face. <laughs> You're silly. Hi. Oh, you want me to get real close? Is that what you're saying? Is that what I was talking about when I asked if we could see your face? Hi, Mama. Hi, Spursers. What do you boys think of this shelter, huh? Hi. Spruce. Okay. You don't have to be a bully. I'll pay attention to you. Showing those horns off. Look at you, Coop. That's my finger you're eating. Okay, I'm officially surrounded. Hi, hey, everybody. I have, I think, two goats eating my shirt. One trying to eat my fingers. You guys are so silly. But I love it that you love attention. It's the best. What do you think, guys? You showing off your toughness, Coop? You showing everybody how tough you are? <laughs> Look at those horns! Caught you. He started it. <laughs> He did a lap through Goatville and then he left a Herc bomb at the top of the hill. So I'm sure he smelled some armadillo or possum, something. Oh, I'm sure. Everybody is just craving attention today. Yeah. They do so well. They all huddle in here. Even though they have access to these other shelters, on a rainy night, they all come in here. And it is incredible to watch. And the difference now without Mario. You know, because Mario would kind of find his place and then give it an hour and he'd move to one of the other does and he just was always kind of stirring things up. Now these guys will get calm and hold still for hours on end. Yeah, and Blue and Luigi sleep next to each other most of the time, which is super adorable. They didn't want you to tell that. Too bad. Yeah, they get along very, very well. And we still don't even know if Blue is pregnant. That's true. With Mario. Yeah. You know, it's on our calendar. Like, literally the day of and the day before Mario had to go, uh, Mario and Blue got it on <laughs> whatever they bred I think <laughs> dude I'm so glad I moved my, my arm I'm so glad I moved my arm when it's I did hot water dude uh, uh, don't keep it to yourself oh <laughs> what's going on
I know. Don't do it in my face. Don't do it in my face. You know what? He says, it'll be okay. I'll just wipe it on your shirt. Yeah, well, it's on my arm. It's on your nose. Gross. Gross. Clean your nose, big guy. Clean your nose. There you go. I love you. He's a good boy. I know it. You're weird. So is this guy. <laughs> Their heads, man, they just... Everything they're curious about the turn. So cute. Love these guys. Well, let me give them some more hay and then let's go let your birds out. Okay, I'm down. It is just so different around here. This is what Shannon and I literally have been working toward. And we actually got a comment and I, Shannon at least told me about the one. I don't know if we got multiples or not. Somebody commented and said, man, I kind of miss the drama now that Mario's gone. You know, I get that from, from a television show's perspective, from a movie perspective. This is our real life. This is what we do and it's been very important to us that we make it as peaceful and as calm as we can in here not because we can't handle the chaos but guys you got to remember this is our full-time life this is what we do we're down here monitoring paying attention trying to train trying to do what's right for these guys for their health and their well-being and then obviously for shannon's and my health and well-being and uh yeah did it make for some fun drama when mario was here for you maybe for us now, now, uh, I miss the guy in spirit, but the reality is this is just so much different, so much better, so much calmer. In fact, the only one we got to watch now for being a little bit hyper sometimes is Big Herc, but he's still a pup. He doesn't mature as fast as these uh, prey goats do. So it's much better for us and we appreciate that most of y'all understand. And I'm sure whoever made that comment, you didn't mean anything ill by it, I know. Uh, but this is just, it's a little bit still surreal for Shannon and I, if I'm being honest. What do you think? Do you miss your... so sweet. You miss your Mario, that big pee bomb that no, comes over and blah, 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 blah. I don't miss that and I don't miss the drama because I can literally go up to any one of our animals now and pet them. For sure. And I love it. Well, and these guys aren't constantly looking over their shoulders anymore like, okay, where's the big guy? Because the moment we put hay in this feeder every single morning... It didn't matter who or which goats wanted to be eating it. They could be on it, blah, blah, blah. Mario would find his way over and run everybody off. And then he would eat as much hay as he wanted for as long as he wanted and take his sweet time. And these guys could not get to the big hay feeder. And Spruce is about the only one wise enough <laughs> to, to go get his own. And so we give them the options between that one and this one and this guy. Everybody can get hay and be in peace. In fact, even the littles can lay down because they go 90 to nothing until they just pass out for a couple minutes. Little Mario says, hey, it's not time yet, Coop. Come on, let's play. Love these guys. So, sorry not sorry for the drama being gone, but the goat pen is just a much more peaceful place now. Speaking of peaceful, let's go get out some noisy birds. Mm -hmm. Let's break the peace is what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. Alrighty. We'll see you in a little while there, Bear. Okay, I'm going to eat some punk. She calls these my birds every opportunity she gets, but they're her birds too. She loves them. Except for when they poop on our mat and they poop up here and you can smell it, but you can't find it or Nala's trying to eat it. Then then they're not her birds. They're, they're my birds at that point. But Christina's really taking a liking to Shannon. Man, it's a good thing you're strong. If only we had motorized vehicles to take up the hill or something. <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't just let me get the four-wheeler out. Hey, I told you I needed the four-wheeler. You offered. How heavy are these bags? Heavy. I think we have a second Houdini on our hands. Well, I am tired from carrying those up. <laughs> I think it's those silly zip ties they sent with the run. 
These little ones that I was complaining about. Yeah. That I would break just trying to tighten them. These guys have, I think, pecked some of them off and created some holes that we're going to have to go back and find. There's a little gray. Found her way out. So I did get a bigger tarp on here to cover the entire run. But as you can see, when you look in, they still get a little bit of water and stuff in there. So I got these pellets to put down on the ground to help keep it, just kind of give them a dry space to walk around in in there. So they're not always walking on mud. So yesterday I came in and I scooped everything out, cleaned it out, started fresh, and now we're ready for some fresh pellets. Yeah, the difference after a rain between how it was before she put those in there and now, yeah, there's some dampness in some of it, but it is drastically nicer than when it's just straight mud. Yeah. When it was straight mud, I mean, it was so muddy that you could see all their little bird prints all throughout it. And of course they were a mess. So this is a huge, huge upgrade. It just takes a little extra maintenance. Yeah. But I think getting a bigger tarp on so we have full coverage, plus getting that down there, that's the trick right there. That is it. Oh, they need their wormies. Christina, you patiently waiting? What about you? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. They're so funny. Who wants wormies? Raise your feathers if you want wormies. You want wormies? Okay. He's so, he's so hacked off, he ain't even going for the wormies yet. I just don't understand these big turks. I don't know why you're so puffy this morning, big guy. Huh? Are you mad about something? I don't have a red shirt on. What are y'all puffed up about? Hmm? You don't like me cornering you, do you? <laughs> So these are in essence, what are they? Sawdust pellets? Yeah. Is that what they, they... Tell, they're like horse stall pellets. So it's just pelletized bedding made up of sawdust. It's in pellet form when it starts, but then it breaks down to like literally what you would think of as sawdust. Yeah. I love it. Hey, hey, hey. Normally they just get their worms and we go down the hill and we get to watch them come down to us. Today they don't really know what to do with themselves because so they're like, hey, you're staying up here with us, what's going on? And big puff daddy over here, he's got something on his brain that's hacking him off, but won't tell me what it is. You forgot a rake? I forgot a rake. Well, okay. that's our... Oh, wait. Now you're doing it. What's going on with you guys today, huh? I don't have the TV playing, the radio's not going, nothing. What are you What are you reacting to? Yeah, you. <laughs> so we effectively call Christina the Nala of the birds. And what I mean by that, our princess Nala lives in the camper with us. Christina will come and when the rain started yesterday, she got underneath the awning on the mat that we have our little hangout space out front of the camper. And she laid down right there by our floor mat going into the camper and said, hey, thanks for the awning. The rest of them got under my little workbench on those two by sixes around it. And uh, Christina's kind of, she just always hangs aside from the pack. The pack does silly things like fight with one another and chase the same grasshopper. She's more just kind of laid back, chilling, doing her own thing. She's super sweet. I would assume it's probably because she's maturing a little bit faster than the rest of these guys. Something about you girls and how fast you mature. You're still waiting on me to mature, huh? I have no words. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, do they fly down the hill if we stay up here? 
Come on, bird birds. Let's go down the hill and eat some bugs. Christina's coming. That's my girl. and squeeze you when you're like this. <laughs> He's hissing. You hear that? Uh -uh. It's so weird. Put him down, put him down. It's like birds. I don't think he's happy with me right now. He'll be okay. You're their leader. They're gonna get over it. Oh yeah. No, we're gonna talk about it here in a little bit, have a counseling session. Oh my gosh. your ladies back here. Hi Christina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got your hand out of the way. Gotta keep my hands out of the way. All right guys, well today, that was your wet Wednesday walkabout. A little bit muddy out here, but very grateful for the rain. It's gonna help knock down the dust so that I can eventually mow again, because I need to. And we're always grateful for the rain. And you are always grateful to be able to mow. That's true. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for coming along this journey with us. We love and appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.